Assalamu alaikum. In this tutorial, we are going to be talking about Google Slides and Bitmoji Classrooms, how to create them and why it could be helpful to use them in the Higher Academy while it's virtual. So in order to get started with Google Slides or with Bitmoji Classrooms, you will need two free things. One is a Google account. If you already have a Gmail, you may already have a Google account. If you have an at ahmadiyya.us account, that is also a Google account. Um, so you will need to sign up for a free Google account. And also Bitmojis can only be created on your phones. It's a phone app, it's not a desktop app. So on your phone, um, please go to your Apple store or the Play store for Android and you can um, look up Bitmoji and you can download that. It's a free um, app to make basically your own cartoon avatar. And I will show you how to use that once we get to Google Slides. So now that you have both those free things downloaded on your phone, um, this is kind of what we are going to try to create. So you can make a template and then every Sunday you can change the slides to reflect your lesson plan. So for example, this is a Bitmoji classroom for level two. This avatar here, this cartoon, this is the Bitmoji. But what you can do is you can create all these pictures and um, there are pictures of um, the children's names up here so that they feel like they're included. Um, that the Higher Academy workbook is linked here. Um, and then you can link other things as well. So um, the first slide could be a lesson plan. So you might want to review what was done for homework last time. You, if you assign something and you would like the children to recite it for you, just put everything on the lesson plan. The helpful thing um, with putting the lesson plan and usually the homework on the last slide is that once you have made this entire slide deck, you can send it, you can email it um, as um, just the Google Slides or you can download it as a PDF and then you can send it um, to parents so that they know what you covered in class and also so that they have the homework and nobody can say that you didn't tell them what the homework was. So, um, so this is what we're going to try to create today and you can see you can cut and paste pieces of the workbook in here. Um, it gives the children something visual to look at. Um, you can cut and paste pictures here um, if you want to show, you know, children are very visual. Um, they like to see pictures. So as you're telling the story, if you can show them actual pictures, um, that usually gets very interesting. Um, you know, any other picture. So if you're talking about Sunnah and who were the Sunnah prayers performed by, well, here's, you know, something visual for them to remember. Um, so this is what we're going to try to create. Um, so again, like I said, we're going to start with a free Google account and you're going to go to your drive. Once you're in your drive, you hit file, um, this button here, which will say new and sorry, not folder, new, and we're going to say Google Slides. So it will create an untitled presentation for you. I'm going to, for now, just call this sample. And I will show you how to go about making it. So um, the first thing I like to do is just create a classroom template. So in order to create a classroom, we go to insert, image, and we'll go to search the web. And basically what this allows you to do is search for any images that you might want to put in your classroom. So if you're looking to make it look like an actual classroom, um, maybe you would like a, a rug in your classroom. So um, transparent. So the reason we ask for transparent is because we don't want anything else behind it. So here's a transparent rug. I'll drag that into my classroom. Um, and so now here's a rug in my classroom. Um, if you feel like something is too big, you can crop it. If you double click it, these black lines come up and it, without reshaping your image, it will just like make the image smaller. Um, if you don't double click it and there's these blue lines and then you drag it out, the whole thing will get bigger. So depending on what you wanna do, and anytime you do something, you don't like what you've done, you can always hit undo. So let's make our rug a touch bigger. 
Um, and let's say now we would like to add some desks. Um, so we'll look up desks and actually I'm going to type in transparent because that's easier. Transparent desks and we can put in a desk here. So here's a student looking desk. Um, so we can bring that into our slide. It's just a drag and drop. I'm going to scale it down just a touch so I can put more than one. So there's one desk and now I will right click, copy, right click, paste. Again, right click, paste, and right click, paste. So here's my classroom. It has at least four desks in it um, for my students to sit. Um, now let's see if we can find ourselves a blackboard. So there's a lot of choices here for blackboards. You can pick whichever one you like. Um, I think this one looks fine, so we'll bring this one in. And again, I can move it around. I can drag it to make it a touch bigger. Now, this is a common problem when you're dragging in images where one image will cover the other. It's not a problem. Whichever image you would like in the front or in the back, it doesn't matter. So you click that image, go to Arrange, Order, Bring to Front and that'll bring it up front. So you'll still be able to use the blackboard if you if you want to move the chairs around a little bit, you still can, it's not a problem. Um, but obviously I think you'd want the blackboard to be the largest so that, um, because that's really your canvas. So again, not a problem, we'll just select this chair, arrange, order, bring to front. So now here's our classroom. Um, you can use this blackboard right here to insert anything else. Let's say, for example, I'm teaching uh, my children about the kalma. Here's all these images of the kalma in Arabic. So um, let's say I'd like to bring this picture in and I'm going to write it here on the blackboard. So here's the kalma. And I can add text if I want. So this is a text box right, right here. Or you can say insert text box. And when this cross when these crosshairs come up, you can just draw yourself a text box. So we can say children. Today we will learn about the first pillar. And then you can choose to um, put the translation underneath if you like. Um, you can have a question there for your kids to answer if you like. Um, however you'd like to do it, it's entirely up to you. So that's um, the most important, I think, uh, setup in Google Drive. After that, everything else, um, it's entirely up to your own creativity, how much you'd like to invest in it. To insert the avatar, um, so to insert the avatar up here, these are extensions in Chrome. You will need to install the Bitmoji extension. So you can just go here into manage and then it'll let you add. When you do that, it will ask you to sign in. Um, you can just sign in and it will tell you you're now logged in. Whatever you created on your phone will then work here. So my Bitmoji, which I've already created on my phone, will meet me here in Google. So now if I want to insert um, an avatar, I'm just gonna drag it in just like the images, and there it comes in. I can make it a little smaller so that the scale makes sense. And that's how you bring in the, the Bitmoji. Um, very easy to use the Bitmoji. Um, a lot of them are a little strange. You might not want a lot of them. Um, if you search up teacher, you'll get a lot of teaching ones. Um, if you see something um, that you want to use but don't want the whole thing, for example, um, let's see, for example, let's say I'd like to use this um, woman who's holding the globe, but I don't want to use all of it. Um, again, double click, you'll see that these little black corners come up. If you drag one of the corners in, it will just cut off that little piece for you. So it will basically get rid of the things you don't want. So 
there's the globe. I've gotten rid of the globe like that. So um, it's still there. If you double click it, you don't like it, you want to get rid of it, you can just pull it back out and you'll still have the original thing in the back. Um, some things that are easy. Um, so for example, you don't have to create this now every slide. You can go here to slide, duplicate slide, and basically it will copy the slide for you. Um, what you can do then is on the blackboard, you can change what you're talking about. So let's say now you want to talk about um, sajda. So insert text box. Um, let's say my next lesson is a prayer between two sajdas. So I can actually go to the workbook, which is online. It's at tahiracademy.org. And I will scroll through until I get to the Salat and Prayers. So here's my page. Um, I can actually just take a picture of this or I can copy this. Um, if you download it, you can make a copy of it. You can take snapshots. You can take pictures of this. So open the older one. So let's come back down to where we were. So with Salat, we are looking for the prayer. So now this is open in Adobe. We'll say um, edit, take a snapshot. And then I got these crosshairs, which I'm going to just copy. So here's the copy. When it does that change of color, you know it's been copied. You can come back into your Google Slides and anywhere you can hit paste. And now you have the prayer on your slide. So here's the prayer on your slide. Now, if you want to insert a link, for example, if you would like to show the children a video. Um, so let me see here. So for level two um, in Salat and Prayers, we have a couple of videos here that you could use. So um, the prayer is going to be in the Jilsa episode. Um, At the time, let me see if I can get this to play. So, this is the Jilsa episode. Um, they talk about what, how to do sajda and what you're supposed to be saying and things like that. So let's say I want to have this video um, in, embedded into the Google Slides. I will copy this URL. So I'm just selecting this address up here. And then I can come back here. I can say insert link and I'm going to paste that link here. And you can see it has linked it here and I'm gonna hit apply. And now during class, instead of having to go look for it, you can just link your video into the Google Slides. Again, really easy to send this to parents if you like. Um, very easy to get this um, packed up into a PDF or send it by email. So. I highly recommend using this. Also gives the children something visual to look at. Jazakallah.